Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. Today we have another interesting Anthem Fashion Forge video and we're going to be doing the Iron Man look all the way up to the fullest extent. We have the Mark 3 mixed with a little bit of Mark 4 and Mark 5. We have the Sorcerer Supreme Armor. We have the Hulkbuster. We have the Iron Heart. We have the Iron Spider and we have other combinations that you can make as well. We are still going to be using our brass textures for the gold, but we also have another addition because we are going to be having different shades of red to create a really good tint of red on that armor. Not just any red, we actually have three shades of red that we will be utilizing in this customization. We have the bright red, which will be the R195 G0 B0. And then we have the dark red, which will be the R145 G0 B0. And lastly, we have the darker red, which will be the R100 and the G0 and B0. Now I'm sure you're wondering, what are those? Well, these are the RGB color codes that we have in the palette creator. And you can see those numbers around those rings. So all you have to do, brothers and sisters, is just match those numbers with each other and you are good to go. Create that template because we're gonna be using that template later on. Another thing to point out is that our metal texture that we are going to be coloring red is going to be a little bit different. So the metal we will be using is going to be called clean metallic. It is not part of the regular metallic, but it is part of the panel section. Clean metallic, pick it up and you are ready to go. And we're trying to make sure that it is not super bright where it feels like a toy. Instead of just straight on trying to recreate the Iron Man suit, I made this composition based on what the Iron Man suits would look like if Tony Stark was from this world or from this universe and we're also creating that beautiful blend with the MCU. So we will begin with the Hulk Buster and you can definitely see the demarcation between the gold bits and the red portions as well. Now you will see the importance of the darker versions of the reds as well. It gives the suit a lot of depth and you can also see that it simulates a lot of shadows and a lot of volume as well. I use the dark red for the middle layer of the armor pieces so you can kind of feel the difference between the armor piece on top and the armor pieces at the bottom. So it makes it, it, makes it look really, really good. Now, when you look at my Ranger Javelin right here, you can see that I am using two grades of red as well. The first one is from my R195, and of course I have the fourth one, which is on my R145. That is also to set a little bit of a depth between the two. And then of course you can see my fifth one where I'm using a mixture of the R195 for the darker one and the R145 for the brighter part. It gives you this Iron Man that is also a gladiator or an arena fighter. And this is like the Iron Man Excalibur armor. If you're ever into the MCU, this is something that kind of simulates what that armor would look like in this universe. Now the storm armor is a little bit different when it comes to creating this looks. I'm also using one of the newest storm armor pieces that came in the market. We have it in the market right now. And this one is going to mimic a different type of Iron Man in the Marvel universe. An Iron Man that actually has superpowers. So this is your Sorcerer Supreme armor. This is what happens when Doctor Strange or some really powerful Bean gets the Iron Man suit. And I forgot what number this Iron Man suit is, but it is also part of the MCU. And it also feels great and it feels great on Storm and his ability set as well. So that is also a really cool thing. And if you change the colors a little bit, it feels like Spawn is wearing this armor as well. So that is also one of the cool things. You can go with that red, green, and black as well if you want to. Now, the fourth one is a little bit of an Iron Spider suit. And the major difference here is that I am using all three shades of red on this Interceptor. I have my shade one, which is the brighter one on the first spot. And then I have my shade three, which is the darker one on the second spot. The rest of the mixture is on shade one and shade two, which is going to be your 195s and your 145s. Shade three, remember, is going to be the 100. And of course you have your gold and tin colors as well. You can change the gold bits to a dark red and you will have the iron heart armor piece. And also remember, if you cannot get the gold, you can substitute by using either the tin texture for now 
or using the brass textures for now. And that will fit perfectly as well. And if any of this doesn't suit your style, you can also turn these red colors to black to create the Mark 42 Iron Man black and gold look. There is no limit here. And these colors are also transferable to different armor pieces and you can go wild and crazy with it. Now the next Fashion Forge video, we will be doing the Transformers next. And the next one is going to be really interesting. We're going to be having some Bumblebee in there, Optimus Prime, and of course, you know we're going to have Bulkhead in there as well. We're going to be having Megatron in there. We're gonna have some cool and unique and make them blend and feel well together but anyway stay tuned for that stay subscribed feel free to like this video share it and also you know let your friends know about this anyways thanks for watching is DS signing out I'll see you guys on the next one